What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the place you go when you want action-packed content related to helping you grow your app downloads, and more importantly, those revenues. And in part two of ASO in 2022, we're going to really take a look, a deep dive into Google Play and some of the dramatic changes that have occurred. And with me, joining me just like in part one, is Rita from ASOMobile.net. Rita, welcome back. Hey, guys. I'm here again. Rita, I think the biggest change that is happening on Google Play is the fact that Google is now going from 50 characters to 30 characters for the app title. And that's a dramatic change, isn't that? Yes. So uh, definitely fewer characters and uh, no misleading symbols in app icons, no emojis. So you need to provide only clear keywords. Uh, but, um, you know, now... It will. It will. St when it will start, I think the developers will be a bit stressed of changing that, but still, needs to stick to the rules. Rita, what have you seen on your end? I know on our end, some of our clients who have made this down, and even just people in our YouTube live streams who have changed from fifty to thirty. They're like, "All right, Google, I hear you. I'm going to change it to 30. They've actually seen some dramatic decreases, some down going down in downloads. What have you guys seen on your guys's end? You know, we definitely won't recommend of changing it right now. It really can lead to the decrease in the download. So what we suggest is just to keep uh, this uh, like old number as long as possible until we definitely will need to change that. I completely agree. And that's sort of the thing that I'm telling my clients too is, you know, we had one client where we're like, holy cow, it was like 30% decrease in downloads. And we've been just telling them, Hey, if you want to change it, we can change it for you. Because if you do want to update your Google Play listing, you will have to have 30 characters for all your localizations. And so if you are doing well, wait as long, like Rita said, wait as long as possible to change it. And then what ends up happening, and this is what happened on Apple when they went down to their character limits to 30 as well, is they just started indexing the first 30. And so the last 20 characters ended up just not being a factor in your listing. But if you can wait, like Rita said, wait as long as possible as well. And the other thing, Rita, that I want to mention too, is what you kind of talked about with the app icon. I know a lot of app developers on Google tend to put new, hot, these type of words free in their app icons and even free in their short descriptions to do all that stuff. And that's no longer going to be allowed as well. So I want to make sure that you hit on that. Absolutely. They will not be able to do that anymore. So probably uh, the guys need to, you know, to take notes on how to change the name uh, for the for the future. And uh, by the way, as you mentioned about uh, the changes um, that touch all localizations, that's really true. And we need to bear in mind about languages because some languages definitely need more characters. Like, yeah. So yeah, that needs to be taken into account. Yeah, and I think the ones, you know which languages are, so for those who are localizing, what languages are should most developers pay attention to? The ones that require the more characters. Not the Asian characters, right? The Asian, you can fit a ton of words in there, but what other languages are you talking about? Um, I'm definitely talking about French, Arabic, um, and German. I would think that these are the typical examples. They need more characters. Yeah, and the and the crappy thing about the emojis thing too. You mentioned this. No more emojis. I just want to talk on this point real a bit because we have tried that and it actually does work, right? And so not being able to utilize. I think long description is okay. I'm not sure about that, but I know the short description or that the app title definitely can't use emojis anymore. I, I I do think that without them it will be a little bit sad, but <laughs> but sad emoji, sad face emoji, <laughs> even sad emojis, even that is not acceptable. So yeah, just a really dry description with clear keywords, but this is what they want. So that's it. That's it. Yeah. So just to be clear, because we we took some notes on this, no emojis or repeated special characters in the app title, icon, or developer name. So it looks like short description, long description. You guys are okay on that front. All right, that's been the biggest change, and I think that's been the one that really a lot of app developers are hurting, going from 50 to 30. Anything else you want to mention on just uh, before we move on to the YouTube optimization side of things? Anything you want else you want to mention on the Google Play? I think this is just, um, if to sum up, I want to repeat that uh, better not to uh, be too fast, you know, and to... Uh, make this number like 30 characters, but just to wait and make notes of how you're going to change it if you have a lot of emojis. Yes, agreed. Great point. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about, and just 
I have no idea if this works. So I would love your guys' insight on this, Rita, but I've been really trying to optimize YouTube videos. And I come from back when I did have a job before I did this app thing, but I was at a video company and we saw that blog posts with videos actually did better in search results. And then also that optimizing your YouTube video, because I'm obviously on YouTube, actually does work. So I started thinking like, hey, can we start optimizing a YouTube video that's on Google Play? And can we get better ASO rankings on that? So what are you guys seeing on your end from YouTube description? Am I crazy thinking about this? <laughs> you know, Google Play publishers use videos like roughly three times more frequently than the app stores publishers. So probably video is important. The visual elements, you know, a lot of people are usually really visual. So promo videos are recommended um, for photo video editors, um, streaming services, food delivery, online shopping, and your app preview video for Google Play will be uploaded to YouTube. So this is what you need to know. Yeah, and unlike iOS, where a video we, we see mixed results with video actually hurting downloads, on Google Play, you don't actually see the video until you're actually in the listing. So Google Play, you know, on the search results, you only see the app icon. And on iOS, you see the video and the screenshots on the search results. And so that's why I'm like, there's no real downside because we see mixed results on iOS. There's no real downside to this. You will have to upload into YouTube. Now we are running tests like, should the video be unlisted? Should it be public? We are running some tests on that. I personally believe if it's a good video, it should be public because you might get just some visual like visibility on YouTube searches. And so that's what we're doing in terms of like testing, right? One of our clients, we optimized it and kept it unlisted. And then now we're going to see the results and then we're going to make it public and then see the results off of that too. Yeah. And like we uh, said, boss, um, when we met last time, uh, testing is a must. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, need to make sure to upload one video for each language. That's what I wanted to add. Or just use a transcript, you know, uh, in different languages. So yeah, testing. And I think the, when you're optimizing your YouTube video, the thing that I would say, and I made a whole video on this and how to do key research on stuff, the important things to, to really mention are the main keywords you're targeting. So whatever you have in your app title, I've been tending to put into the title on YouTube as well. Maybe put a pending app to it. And then the short description, I've been, or the description on YouTube, I think I've been kind of just like taking parts of the short description and long description, but not all of it, just little certain pieces of it because I didn't want too long of a description on YouTube. And then lastly, it's the tags on YouTube. So that's where I feel like is the biggest win for app developers. YouTube has tags, just like keyword fields on iOS. And I've been putting a lot of competitors in there. And I'm trying to see if putting competitors in there helps our Google Play Explore downloads because maybe in the similar apps section of Google Play, we're able to be listed there and then see that. So for one of our clients, I did a case study on like, just one, so sample size is very small, but we saw a increase in Google Play search downloads, small ones like 15, 20%, but a huge one, granted it was small numbers anyways, but a huge like 100% increase in Google Play Explore downloads. And his he's a com completely paid app, and so it's a big win for him. And you see, again, if we talk about the Google Play, it's video, YouTube video and video. <laughs> uh, as we said, so different uh, stores, different auditories, people, and that's how it differs. All right, Rita, let's end with this. Like, in terms of making a good video, do you have any suggestions on what we should be doing to make sure our video is actually a good video that will actually lead to more downloads? Oh, you know, I have two recommendations. And the first one is uh, to make videos short. Nobody wants to watch long videos. So <laughs> like first 30 seconds, that's Definitely enough. And you know, what's also important is um, everything should be understandable without the sound because when people watch the videos and they are, for example, on a bus or in some public places, they definitely watch them muted, but they need to get the info. So like to make videos short and understandable without the sound, like two factors. I love that point. I love that without sound because most of the time we don't see it. And then they want to just show off the app as well. And so make it like a trailer, you know, it is, it is like a demo Start. I mean, Even I would like say a teaser, small. you know? Yeah. Yeah. And start small. Like you don't need to go super sophisticated and high, you know, it's not like a movie trailer. You just need to test small, see if that optimization helps increases downloads. If it doesn't maybe take it out, but you know, start, I always say start small 
with the video side of things. You can get started pretty easily. It's, I mean, you can go on Canva. I'm sure you can get something done really easily on Canva too. Definitely. Anything else, Rita, that we might have missed that you want to make sure we cover? I think it's pretty nice. Yeah. My recommendations, I hope, will help. <laughs> I'm sure they will. All right, guys, in part three, we're going to talk all about how potentially you might need to give your ASO a push. And so back in the mm -hmm. days, we used to be able to launch an app and then optimize the heck out of the ASO and boom, get thousands of downloads. But these days, I feel, and then Rita will get your, what do you feel, Rita? You feel like ASO sometimes need a little bit of a push from a paid marketing perspective? Yeah. And yeah. that's what we're going to discuss. Yeah. So we're going to talk about, what channels to be using, what channels are the most effective, and maybe some different gray hat type <laughs> of strategies. We'll figure it out. But stay tuned for part three when we talk about ASO and needing to push. And Rita, if the audience wants to figure out how to do or competitive analysis, what keywords they're your competitors are ranking well for, what keywords you should be trying to rank for, and all the data that you need to make the intelligent decisions for ASO, I recommend checking out ASO Mobile. ASOMobile.net is the website. Rita, anything else you want to cover before we say bye? I think um, we definitely should share something interesting the next time. And for now, I, I think I shared all what I wanted. <laughs> Read it with the T's. All right, guys, we'll see you in part three. See you later.